connection. If you're connected with God, do you need to read something with a piece of paper? You know what I'm saying? There's no integrity there. Anyone who stands up and, and, and says that I have some connection or an ability out of my experience to assist you and starts reading with a speech, there's no integrity. What they're doing is they're working from the mental and physical only and not from the heart. Anyone who, who really wants to operate from the heart, they don't need a piece of paper. They, the moment, the, uh, for example, you don't have a piece of paper here that you're asking questions of. Why? Because the questions are coming from where? The moment. I don't have a piece of paper. I don't have like a pile of paper and I'm going, okay, hold on a minute. <laughs> and let me get to that answer. And I've got that written here somewhere, okay? Because the answer is coming where? It's out of the moment. And this is how we're being asked to live. Can we live out of the moment? The mental body can't. It can't get that it right. Well, one thing I've realized yeah. is I'm, I'm looking for a formula. That's the mental body. Now, if you just get that thing about the mental body, what happens is, okay, this is how the mental body works. So we have a great conversation here. And this is really a, we have a great conversation, right? And afterwards, what the mental body will go is, that, that, that worked really good, okay? What happened to make that work good? What are the, okay, next time to make that happen again, I'm going to do this, this, and this, because that's what happened in that moment. So I'm going to take that moment and cut and paste it on ever more, okay? Now I've lost my integrity, right? Now I've lost the life, because life is only happening in this moment. This mental body will go to what I, oh, what I should have done different, or how I should have asked something. Yeah, and that's also the way the mental body works. It's because it's not going according to the story of how it was supposed to. That's another right. way. But whenever anything does work, the mental body tries to figure it out. Why did it work? And then apply that to everything. And then it kills every moment. Because each moment, what works in this moment, won't work in the next. That's the nature of truth. Truth in this moment doesn't have to be truth in the next. You see, it can, it can, you know, what's true for this moment can transform and not be true for another. The only thing is to stay with the moment and trust it and be with it and see what comes out of it. And that's what makes life. That's the Christ, right? Is what come out of, comes out of it, is that the next moment, or is that still this moment? No, no, it's, it's it, each moment, okay, it's always the same moment. There's always the now, right? Okay. That's what I heard. Okay. <laughs> well, well it, it's actually, this was explained to me. And, I, and, 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 and for me, when I get this, I really get it in a big way, right? Okay. There is a difference between the now and the present moment. Okay, there's a difference between the now yeah. and the present moment. The now never changes. In the now, there is the vibrational awareness. For example, it's, let's be in the now, right? The now is, I've always been, I always will be. Nothing will ever change that. I don't have to do anything to be. I will always be no matter what I'm doing. That's the now. Right? I'm in the now. The eternity. Right? And, and if you allow yourself to feel the now, it just stretches out for infinity. This has always been, right? is an eternal one. The present moment is the bridge between what we were doing just now to what we're going to do a bit later. <laughs> but it's the bridge, right? Because in this present moment we're doing an interview, oh, okay? okay? In the next present moment we might be having lunch. In the next present moment we stay in each moment. The present moment is always changing. The now is always the same. To know the difference between the two, that's the point, that's a point of To know the difference between the two. The power, the power is like the, the okay, this is what Eckhart Tolle's work, my comprehension of Eckhart Tolle's work. The power of Eckhart Tolle's work is to say, let's, let's remember, let's be aware of the now in the present moment. The work of the presence process is saying, why are you unable to be in the present moment? Let's first get there. Why can't you accept this moment? Why are you stuck in the past and the future? Let's get into this moment. Once you get into this moment, let's tackle the now. Let's, do let's the tackle the now. Tackle yeah, let's, 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 let's go to the now, right? But first, try and get to this moment. Okay. Eckhart has a great ability of just going, let's go straight to the now, right? So people will go and be with Eckhart and be in the now. Right? It's wonderful to be with him because you're in the now. 
because he's in the now, right? But then you go home, and then you suddenly, oh, the experience decays somewhat, right? Yes. And suddenly you're struggling, and you can't even be in the moment. <clears throat> Why can't you be in the moment? In other words, the moment is a portal. The present moment is a portal to, to the now. You can go directly to the now. Someone can assist you to facilitate you to be aware that the now exists. That's what Eckhart did for the planet. He said, I forgot the now. I'll show you the now, right? The presence process says, why can't I even show up in the present moment? What is it that stops me even staying present in the moment I'm into my day-to-day -day on this timeline? Because we're on a timeline. There's a timeline that we're on. That's our human experience. It's very important to participate in that timeline. That's why we're here. But it's also, it's, it's very painful to be on this timeline. It can be very challenging if we don't remind ourselves of the now. That even this timeline will be gone one day, but something will remain. That's the now. Right? And there's a difference between the two. Do you think that there's a, a transmission vibrationally? <coughs> like with Eckhart? Or well, you, you well, no, but you see, because, because <coughs> it, it, it is... Um, I haven't been to Eckhart's talks. I haven't been in Eckhart's presence. Um, I, very, I read very little of Eckhart's work. I, re I, re I, re I read very little about other people's work because it's a way of staying in integrity with my experience. It's not that I don't dismiss their work. It's that, that my mental body, if I start reading Eckhart or listening to Eckhart, my, my mental body goes, that's the way you're supposed to be doing it, right? <laughs> right? And I get confused because suddenly I go into that schizophrenia of I'm having my experience, that's Eckhart's experience or way of explaining his experience or whatever. And then I start comparing the two, and in the moment of comparison, I get I go into schizophrenia, right? Comparison is fatal because there is only my experience. That's my truth. So I stay in my truth and that level. So is there a transmission? Um, Eckhart has a capacity to sit in the now. And because he's sitting in the now and talking from the now, the vibration of of what he's transmitting is now. The way that I do my presentations is that I stay in the present moment, mm -hmm. okay? And what I do is I talk from the moment. In other words, whatever comes up in the moment, I'm not putting my attention on the now. I'm not, I don't feel called that's what my thing is. If I, if I did that, I would be out of integrity because that's not what my heart is telling me my work is. My work is about present moment awareness, about why can't you show up on this timeline? What's keeping you hooked into elsewhere, right? So, so when I do my talks, I'm speaking out of the present moment. I'm staying with the moment. And that has a capacity for people sitting in the room. That's why I say don't take notes. Stay in the moment with this. That way you'll have a present moment experience and engage with that feel, what that feels like. How do you know when you're in the now? You feel it. How do you know when you're present? You feel it. Doesn't that tell you something about the importance of the emotional body or the emotional body condition? And you see... Recently, also, I, I want to explain this because it's only a, a recent insight coming to me through my own experience, is that I talk about emotional body awareness. But really, we have a feeling body. It's really about the feeling body. And the feeling body has a capacity to feel emotions. It can feel thoughts, and it can feel physical sensations. It's the feeling body. And when we're talking about the heart, we're talking about the feeling body. And the feeling body can have emotional body awareness. It can have <coughs> thought <coughs> awareness, feeling the thoughts. That thoughts can be, feel confusing, right? And it can feel the physical world, but it's the feeling body we're developing here. And it's the feeling body that is required to perceive the vibrational. When I'm feeling the now, okay, when I'm in the now and I can feel that, 